I've spent tens of thousands of hours cooking professionally in restaurants, so yeah, I'm a big critic of food. But there's an even bigger, more brutally honest, more unfiltered critic out there. <laughs> Children, what's the verdict? In my childhood, I had to have a meal. Didn't like it, but I know it's a nostalgic staple in fast food culture. Probably the easiest thing for a parent. You don't need to cook, your kid gets a toy, everybody's happy. Kids love it, but maybe it's not what you remember anymore. It can be much, much better. But I'm not the judge of that, they are. I don't know how this is gonna go because I've never cooked for children before, but regardless, we have a very special surprise for them and I know it's gonna change their minds. Now, let's make this, shall we? Oh my goodness. Welcome to the Poi Poi. Yeah, time for a happy meal to make me feel young again. <laughs> We're at McDonald's. We've done the three point test here before. I mean, if I were to reanalyze it, I'll give it the same score. I don't know what it was. Building, five out of 10. All in all, very sweet. Give that one an eight out of 10. To route back to the menu rating, we give two out of 10. That's what it was. Are they gonna still give you my happy meal even though it's breakfast time? Oh my God, it's 10.59. We have to get up there only at 11. Hi, can I just get Happy Meal? Yes. Menus are actually kind of amazing. I'm with animations on it. I'm gonna bump the appearance up by one point. She was really nice also. I'm also gonna bump that up. Maybe because she thought that I had kids in the car, but little did she know. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. She was really nice and had an angelic smile. I'm gonna give this McDonald's an eight out of 10 all around. Okay, let's go. Woo, we got the bag. We have two options, the burger and the nugget. They didn't ask us if we wanted a boy or a girl toy. Very progressive. Wow, oh my goodness. That's dumb. Moving on. It's the same <laughs> toy, you f All right, apples. How long have these been in this bag? This looks like Shrek's shaved toe. Single-handedly the most flavorless apple I've ever eaten. Moving on. <laughs> How many fries are in here? One, two, 13, 14, 15, 16 fries. I remember them being better. They didn't salt these at all. Time for our chicken nuggets. We've had these before. Somehow worse than I remember, but they're decent. I've come to understand why people like these. They're also not that great. Burger. Here's the thing, like if I had children, I'd care about them. Nobody deserves that. Bon appetit. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. I don't have anything to say about that. I get it, it's not an artisanal meal. That's why I'm not the judge today. Kids will be the judge of this one, and we're still gonna win. We're hitting every angle with this. We're doing the chicken nuggets and the hamburger. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, Josh is finally doing the McDonald's fry. Listen, this is a good fry recipe, but our real McDonald's french fry butt better is coming soon. Now let's talk burger buns. First, you're gonna make a tang zong. In a small pot, you're gonna add two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of water, and a quarter cup or 60 milliliters of whole milk, and then whisk in two tablespoons or 18 grams of all-purpose flour till dissolved. Set over medium heat and continuously stir until that thickens into a nice gloop like this and let that cool completely. Separately in the bowl of a stand mixer, you're gonna add three and a half cups or 525 grams of bread flour, two tablespoons or 28 grams of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon or two grams of amy lace, follow that with one and a half teaspoons or nine grams of fine sea salt and whisk all that together. Now in a separate container, you're gonna add half a cup or 120 grams of whole milk and half a cup plus two tablespoons or 143 grams of water, heat that in 95 degrees Fahrenheit and whisk in two and a half teaspoons or 14 grams of instant yeast till dissolved, then beat in one whole egg and one egg yolk. Get your stand mixer, dough spiral, got your flour, Set it to medium low speed. Pour in your yeasty juice, followed by your cooled tang zong. Once you get a relatively smooth dough, about two to three minutes, add in three and a half tablespoons or 50 grams of softened unsalted butter. And once you have a smooth, supple dough, it's done. Roll to a light ball, place into a grease bowl, and let it rise for one hour at room temperature or until doubled in size. Punch your dough down. Divide it into pieces that weigh around 60 grams each. Roll those into toit balls and place them into greased parchment paper, evenly spaced apart, cover with greased plastic wrap, and proof for 30 minutes. Then you make a little egg wash, consisting of one egg plus one tablespoon of water water, whisk together, brush each of your little balls, and bake in a sweltering 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Brush each bun with melted butter, and they're done. All those are cooling, let's make our nuggets. Now, you can do this with a meat grinder or the food processor. First, get one and a half pounds or 680 grams of boneless skinless chicken breast. Cut that into strips that are thin enough to fit in your grinder, followed by a third pound or 136 grams of pork fat back. These are gonna be bone dry if you don't use fat. Now, cut that into small pieces and send that brother to heaven right through your meat grinder until all of it is ground evenly. Once you have your nugget paste, Season it with one and three quarters of a teaspoon or six grams of fine sea salt, optionally one teaspoon or three grams of MSG, one and a half teaspoons or seven grams of granulated sugar, and mix that all together until thoroughly combined. Now look, this is real easy. You shape the nuggets into ovals that are about one and a quarter inch long and just under half an inch thick. That'll get you about 32 total nuggets. Now place this onto a greased quarter sheet with parchment and pop in the freezer for 15 to 20 minutes or until stiff. 
Now we prep our fries. First, you'll need two pounds or 907 grams of russet potatoes, and you're just gonna cut those into French fry matchsticks. Now place this into a large bowl, season very generously with salt, and add enough water to cover the fries, toss them, and soak them for about 15 minutes. Then drain the water, place those on a sheet tray with paper towels, and dry as much as possible. Then get a seven quart heavy bottom pot, fill it about halfway with vegetable oil, and heat that bad boy to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Then in batches, you're gonna fry your potatoes for about two to four minutes or until just barely cooked through. They should have zero color. Drain them of their oil and repeat with the rest. Now, once all those are par fried, you're gonna pop those onto sheet trays and place in the freezer to freeze until solid. Now, if you're serving apples with this, obviously a nice fresh Fiji apple is my ideal choice, which you'll peel and slice in slices. We're gonna make a very easy caramel. Medium sauce pot. Add one cup or 200 grams of granulated sugar and a quarter cup or 60 milliliters of water. Mix that together till damp and wet, wet. Set that to medium high and let that boil until it turns a nice amber color. Reduce the heat to medium, whisk in five and a half tablespoons or 77 grams of unsalted butter. Once that's melted and emulsified, cut off the heat and whisk in half a cup or 120 milliliters of heavy cream. And finally, one teaspoon or four grams of vanilla extract. Whisk, let it cool completely, and that's your caramel. You can drizzle this on your apples or you can put it on the side. Okay, the moment is here. Now the nuggets will sit the best, so we'll start with those. First, we have a thin batter consisting of a quarter cup or 33 grams of cornstarch, one cup or 240 milliliters of water, and then whisk together until it looks like milk. Second is our flour mix, medium sized bowl, three cups or 450 grams of all purpose flour, one tablespoon or 22 grams of kosher salt, half a teaspoon or two grams of one teaspoon or three grams of ground white pepper, one teaspoon or two grams of celery powder, then whisk together till combined. Last but not least is essentially a tempura batter. Medium sized bowl, half a cup or 75 grams of cornstarch, three quarters of a cup or 103 grams of all purpose flour, one and a quarter teaspoon or four grams of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon or one gram of baking soda. Whisk together till combined, follow that with one cup or 240 milliliters of chilled water, two eggs, and then whisk until you get a smooth batter like this. We got your fryer set up from earlier. Real simple, right? Increase the heat to 350 Fahrenheit, and for each nugget, first a dip in the cornstarch batter, followed by the flour mix, shake out the excess flour, and pay attention here. Swiftly dunk into the tempura batter to fully coat, and quickly transfer to the oil, being careful not to splash. Rinse and repeat with all of your nuggets in three total batches. Let those fry for three to four minutes or until golden brown, and the inside is obviously not medium rare. Pull it out and drain on a wire rack. Optionally seasoned very lightly with additional salt to taste, and that's your nuggies. It's burger time. Our sauce will consist of half a cup or 120 grams of mayonnaise, three quarters of a cup or 176 grams of ketchup, half a cup or 120 grams of yellow mustard, and optionally, but recommended, a little sprinkling to taste with mushroom soup base powder. Stir together till combined and well, that's it. Look, it's really easy, it's a smash patty. You'll need one pound or 450 grams of ground beef. Now divide that into about one inch thick balls. Get yourself a pan, grease it up, place it over medium high, and once that's ripping hot, place a ball down, press it until it's about an eighth of an inch thick, season with salt and pepper, let that sear for about a minute or two, then once it's crisp on the bottom, flip, season the top with salt and pepper, and add one slice of, yes, American cheese. Get a bun, you cut it in half, toast it in butter in a pan on both sides, sauce your bottom bun, lay on your hot cheesy burger, sauce your top bun, four slices of pickles, and crown your king. Everything is done, except the flies. Your oil temperature should be at around 375 Fahrenheit, directly from frozen, in batches. Add in your frozen french fries that you prepped earlier, and fry once more for two to four minutes or until beautifully crisp and stiff, like this right here. Train on a wire rack and season a taste with salt immediately. Look at this incredible happy meal we have in front of us. Now the taste test this time is gonna be different. I won't be tasting it. Today we have a more authentic taste tester, if you will. Layla. Hello. And Kaden. Wow. Woo! Let's go. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Here we go. I can't Here see. we go. There we go. Wait, uh, can we open our eyes? Can you see if you open your eyes? Kaden, can you see? No. Layla, can you see? Layla, you're looking right at me. I feel like you can see me. <laughs> I can hear you. I feel like I'm the stupid one here, to be honest. <laughs> yell at home, yell. If you're in front of the screen right now, yell. <laughs> Not you, I meant the audience. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we've got number one. <laughs> it's a burger. This is number one. This is really one. Oh no, right? We'll come back to these. I'm gonna take these away from you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm afraid of these children. Next is number two. We're trying it, we're experiencing it. Number one or number two? One. We're, one. we're moving on to the next stage. Here, open up your hand, I'll give you a stack of french fries. Whoa, whoa, you're getting too close to me, buddy. Okay. What's going through your head right now, Layla? Um, french fries. Number one or number two? Number one. Okay, one. so chicken nuggets, number one. Chicken nuggets, number one. All right, we're enjoying, we're thinking, we're chewing. So that was number one, you ready for number Joshua, two? why are you screaming? Am I screaming? <laughs> Take the nugget. Number one. one. Last but not least is gonna be the apple. This one's pretty simplistic. Are they homemade and classical? <laughs> Just take the apple, man. There's number one. Mmm, caramel. 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 And that's number two. What's the verdict? 
Two. Number one. You know what that means, guys? Guess who won? You. We won yet again, but better episode. I don't know, the kids decided, but wait, 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 wait. We got a big problem here. The biggest problem is that mine doesn't have a toy. So I think <gasps> we should go get some, like now. Wait, really? Let's go, let's go. We're at Target, it's time for toys. You have five minutes total. During the five minutes, you can grab whatever you want, but you have to be able to carry it all. Once the five minutes are over, you're done. Three, two, one, go. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Some of these things are locked, so we're just gonna let them tap it, and then that still counts. Okay, you're running out of time, buddy. All you got is a backpack. Oh, I want an Apple Watch. It's an Apple Watch. Is that an Apple Watch? That's an Apple Watch. Tap it. Oh, you just got an Apple. Oh, I want an electric scooter. Um, oh, yeah, my scooter. Amazing, dude. Wait, I'm gonna get you something. No, don't. Papa Shot, can I just touch it? Yeah. Yes! I got the backpack. I'm gonna grab over here. I'm trying to find my size. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. I need to find. How do you know? Oh, okay, good. Oh, there's Swiss rolls. <laughs> I need to find a Gatorade pod. Gatorade pod or AirPod? Gatorade pod. There's Gatorade pod. What? This. I'm gonna give this for my brother. Okay. How do you feel? You feel you got enough? Yeah. Our good news and bad news. The bad news you can't use your watches without an iPhone. They don't have any, but they're coming in the mail for both of you. Oh! McDonald's can never keep up. This is the happiest meal that there is. You want to know what else is happy? B-roll.